Hey guys, I'm Coach Reedy and welcome back to the First Tees Virtual Experience. So just to summarize what happened in the last episode of the Virtual Experience, we went over the core value of honesty and the golf skill of body balance. But today, we will be going over the core value of confidence and the life skill of interpersonal communication. Hi guys, and welcome back to week number six of our golf lesson. Uh, this week is going to be with me, Coach Brian. Uh, the golf game we're going to be doing today is a putting game called Poison. Uh, the materials you'll need for that game is two golf balls, two cups, and a putter. This game is best played with two people, but I'm going to play it with one person today, and you guys can all definitely try it at home with one person. Uh, if you don't have golf balls, I mean, you can use tennis balls. Any kind of ball will work. Same with cups. If you don't have cups, a cone will work. Something that could stand there and hopefully won't break. And then a putter is what I'm gonna use because we're gonna try golfing. But you guys could really use anything. I mean, you could just roll the ball, you could kick the ball. It's up to you how you play this game. Okay, so let's hop on into the game. Okay guys, so for our game, like I mentioned, we're gonna be playing Poison. So the way you play Poison is we have our two cups set up on opposite ends of each other, and we have our two golf balls. Usually this game is played with two people, but today I'm gonna play it by myself. If you're at home by yourself and you wanna play it by yourself, feel free to. So if there's two people, I recommend doing rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first. But since I'm by myself, I'm just gonna pick which golf ball goes first. So the yellow golf ball is gonna go first today. Right, and when we actually play the game, what's gonna happen is we're trying to hit this cup first. So since we start over there, we're gonna go for this cup and we take turns. So once the yellow ball goes, then the pink ball goes. After the pink ball, the yellow ball goes and we alternate, right? Unless you hit the cup. If you hit the cup, you get another turn. Well, what happens once you hit this cup? We gotta go for the other cup, right? So after we hit that cup, we're gonna hit our putts back over here and try hitting this one. Once you hit both cups, your golf ball becomes poison. And what you're trying to do is hit the other golf ball to eliminate them, right? You wanna be the last one alive. That's the goal of this game, right? So we're gonna do this game real quick, see how it works out. So first is gonna be the yellow golf ball. And like I said, we're gonna be going for that far one. And remember, today we're talking about distance response. So when we mention distance response, we really got to be thinking about how far we're taking of a swing, how big of a swing we're taking. So I'm going to take some practice swings to try finding the right swing length I want for this putt. So I take some practice swings. Okay, I think I have it figured out. We'll see what happens. Boom. Oh man. So I hit that ball a little far. So as the pink ball, who's the competitor, they look at that and go, wow, they hit that farther than they thought. Let's hit another putt and see what happens. So the ping ball's gonna take their practice swings. Maybe I'm gonna take a little smaller swing this time. And let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. So the ping ball had the right swing length. And remember what I said about the rules, since the ping ball hit the cup, they get to go again. So the ping ball is now gonna be coming back over here to the other cone. So we're gonna take our swing, set up, and hit our ball. Oh, look at that. The pink ball is already poisoned, right? So now with the pink ball, what I have to try doing is hitting my yellow golf ball that's way over there. So let's see if we can get this to work. Pretty far. Oh, oh the hold on the way. Actually, there's one more rule I didn't mention. If you hit the hole when it's not your turn to hit that hole, you lose a turn. So the pink ball actually loses a turn. So we have two turns with the yellow ball to make something work. So let's see what happens right here. So we're gonna go for this closest one because I still need to hit it with this ball. Whoa. Ooh, so I get another turn. So we still have two turns with the yellow ball. Same getting interesting. And really make sure to keep your swing length in mind because it's very important while we do this. So we're gonna go for the next one. Oh, I hit it. So I have two shots with the yellow ball to hit the pink ball now. I've been hitting the cones a lot. Okay, let's see if we can do it. So since I got two shots, I have to be smart about this. Maybe try to get close with the first one and hit them with the second one. So let's see how this goes. Oh, keep going. Ooh, that's nice and close. So the yellow ball has a turn, has a chance to end it right here. Let's see if it works. Boom. 
And just like that, that's how we play the game of poison, okay guys? So I really hope you guys enjoyed that station. It's a fun little game you guys could set up on your own at home. Uh, for me, I played by myself. You guys could play it with other people or you can also try it by yourself. I mean, I enjoyed it playing by myself, so hopefully you guys do too. Remember, if you do play it by yourself, to keep distance response in mind, especially our swing length, right? We want to make sure we're ha taking the right kind of swing to get us to the right distance. Also, keep in mind about confidence. Confidence is a huge part when we putt, right? We want to be confident in the shot we're hitting and make also confident in our distance response. The swing we choose, we have to be confident that that's the right type of swing for the shot. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time and hope you guys are doing well. Thank you, Coach Brian. All right, I hope you guys were all able to join or try to do the activity at, at home. Don't forget to like or leave a comment below. Hello, my name is Ali, and today I'm going to show you on how to make a watch. So first, you need to get all of your materials. So your first material is scissors, glue, two papers. And so I recommend that you do this um, with a parent. And so, so first step is to is to cut, but not not a white cut. Okay. So once you begin, like this, you got it straight. In order to make a good watch I mean you can you can use any colors that you want but I chose red because I like red and I chose white that's the only two types that I have and so now you gotta cut through this line right here there we go along you gotta cut along the line in order in order to have a, a good cut So you know, the, so the, the cuts that I, that I made are not perfect. It's okay. Um, the more you practice, the, the more you'll get better. Of course, um, with consistency, you will get better. So first, um, you need to get your glue, and then you have to put glue on those two sides, two sides, in order to make it like it circle like this so you gotta like make it like this there we go and you just glue it like that and then you're, you're gonna measure so of course this is way too big so you need in half in order to make it really good so there we go um, let me see if, if it looks good Okay, so this is, I think this is a good size for it. So you did like that. There we go, let me see. There we go. Okay, now you need to glue this right here. There we go. Glue right here, this one right here, and... There we go. have a watch you can color this you can make it all types of um colors you can color of course and you can you know you got um you can adjust the size too see that's how you make a watch hey there guys i see you there when i my name is coach adrian and i hope you guys enjoyed our sixth virtual experience video today remember we learned about friends sportsmanship and interpersonal communication today Friends are very important to have, and feel free to contact them. If you're watching this video, text your friend or FaceTime them. For myself, I love to use FaceTime and text messages. Those are all great forms of interpersonal communication while using our devices. We also talked about sportsmanship. Sportsmanship doesn't always have to relate to sports. It can relate to outside of sports. For example, wearing our face masks and washing our hands with hand sanitizer or with warm water and soap for 20 seconds. Remember to check out our social medias and feel free to follow them, our Instagram and our Facebook. We miss you guys and we hope to see you soon. I hope you guys are doing well. 
like I said, washing your hands. And like I said before, we hope to see you guys soon. This is Coach Agent signing off. Peace, guys.